It's not as if we have so much that we're doing this, we don't. And we want to say thank you to the school authorities, thank you to your parents, to the parents too. We know that times are really hard, but we believe that God will be able to see us through in Jesus' name. Amen. So this morning, what we have come to do, someone, Mrs. Ifoma, has asked us to pay for four children their GSSCE fees. That's junior secondary, secondary school examination fees. So that's what we have come to do here today. I will say thank you very much for the opportunity. We know and we believe that tomorrow when we see this wonderful children, some of them will be doctors, some of them could be lawyers, some of them could be president amongst us, we never can tell. So if these children are going to lead tomorrow, how do we get them prepared? We must start today. They said children are the leaders of tomorrow, but how do you begin to equip them? Will you start from the classroom? If we fail them today, we have failed our future generation and they will end up haunting us tomorrow. We hear of the crisis everywhere in the Northern East. The whole Nigeria is in total chaos, all because of lack of education, lack of health, lack of empowerment. Some of, this, some of these parents do not know what to do, how to go about helping their children. It's not as if they don't want to help those children, but because they don't have what it takes. So that is why we have come today, to be able to put smiles on the faces of these children. And we say thank you very much on, on behalf of Real Africa Empowerment Foundation and the children, I want to say a very big thank you to Mrs. Ifoma for rendering this help to these children. We believe that God will replenish your pocket in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Chris. Hi, Richard Friday. Richard Friday, okay. Thank you very much. Your name is Asimi. Oh? Your name is Asimi. Okay. Your child's name? Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman was Asimi. Okay. So. Bolaji. Okay, what's the title? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a privilege to be here. Don't be discouraged. No matter what you're going through, whatever challenges we're going through in life is just a temporary phase. They will all come and pass. Be encouraged and look at the brighter future that tomorrow these children are going to be great future for you that when you look back and you will say God thank God that I went through all I went through to be able to take care of them these children that you see that lie on the streets under the bridges it's not their making some of them are lack of parental love some parents didn't care they just left their children like that but you are doing all you can to be able to support your children to be in school we say well done kudos and God continue to strengthen you thank you very much so these are the children, the four of them. This person are yet to meet with the guide here. The guide is on the way. So we're going to be taking care of their JSSCT fees today by the grace of God. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well. Okay, so what's your name? Richard Wu. Friday. Friday. Talk very loud. Okay, thank you. I think I need to. Ah, you have a very loud voice. You're going to be maybe a wife of a doctor. <laughs> so your own name? Doris Bishima. Doris Bishima. See, the girls are even talking louder than the boys. I was expecting the boys to talk louder, but the girls are quite vibrant. Thank you very much. I wish you for all the best in your first coming and examination. Please do well to concentrate on your studies. I beg of you. Your future is in your hands. We don't choose where we were born, but we choose where we can be tomorrow. You may be born in a very poor home, 
but you determine your future. When you work hard, tomorrow, there are a lot of people, we had the case of our former president, Good Lord Jonathan, who said he was going to school barefoot. He wasn't wearing shoes. But as a matter of fact, if you want to address him today, you address him as a former president. He didn't allow his, his past determine his future. He worked hard, he went to school, he was encouraged until he became the president of Nigeria. So that's how each and every one of you here today, I want to encourage you, you can be whatever you want to be tomorrow. So don't look at your present condition and make yourself look I'm less. You're not less. Tomorrow you can be a governor. Tomorrow you can be a president. Tomorrow you can be a doctor. So that's how life is. When you sow a seed in the, in the floor, you don't know that the tree will end up becoming a tree. It's a little seed you put in the floor, but to grow and become a tree, and not just a tree, and become maybe a forest. So that is how I look at you today. You may be little seeds, but I look at you as the future of tomorrow, the future of Nigeria. So promise me that the next time I'm going to see you, I will be in your next class, and let's go to the SS1. Please. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. And really blessed. Thank you. So, so what is with the boss? I said I can do the payments. So, if you have something to appreciate, most of the time, the boy wants to talk. Thank you very much for the people. Thank you for Thank you. 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 She just saw the work we do and then decided okay. to support the children. Thank you very much. We're grateful. Thank you so much. So then allow you to go back to your classes and then concentrate on your studies. Please be who you want to be. Don't let anybody look at you and tell you you can't be anything. You can become anything you want to be. The only person that can stop you from being who you want to be is yourself. Nobody can stop you. Not even the parents who gave birth to you. Not the society. It's only you that have the power to say, I can out can be anything or I won't stop myself. So we can go back to the class if you wish. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.